What's up guys, it's Hunter from Maryland Boat Sales. Today we're here at the Annapolis Boat Show um, down on Dock Street. We have the 43 CFS for Ball here. Um, we're lucky today, we have Nick Arnold, who is the VP at Ball Boats. He designed the boat and he's being generous enough. He's going to do a quick walkthrough of the boat, show you all the cool features and options it has. Um, I'm going to pass it on to him. <laughs> Hey guys, how you doing? It's a beautiful day in Annapolis. Y'all come out and see us here uh, with Rama Boat Sales. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of our uh, 33 CSF. We're starting to bow and kind of work our way back. So all 33s come standard with wings and its own dedicated anchor locker uh, with its own uh, remote control as well as a trolling motor uh, pre-wire as well. All 33s are also standard with a forward awning. You can see the carbon fiber poles, and now this integrates into the hardtop. Uh, so you've got shades from the outer console on this one. Uh, front storage, as you can see, we can do it in multiple different ways. We've got, right here, we've got it set up in our L lounge configuration. But we can also put in fillers and a filler cushion to turn this into a full sun pad, or we can take all the cushions off and turn it into a full casting deck with a non-skid bottom, just like this. And we've done something a little different up front. Instead of doing traditional hatches that lift up, we've gone with the deep drawer storage, which you see in most high-end kitchens, so that we can actually store underneath. And these pockets are designed for the 24-quart uh, soft can cooler, so you can pre-pack your lunch, slide it in there, and then you've got more utility storage here. And you've got one of these on both sides. Uh, this boat also has the cockpit table, which we'll show you in the head, but that's the base for it. Uh, as we work aft, we have Corian counters, and we also have, in both locations, shallow and Yeti tumbler deep cup holders uh, for storage up there. Um, you can see the JL audio system on, on board, standard with the boat, factory tuned from JL. As we move into the console, this is one of three live wells. So this is our forward live well, the clear lid. And then behind that, we have dry storage, where we'll typically store day covers and the fiberglass inserts. Port starboard on both sides, lockable rod storage with tubes to go forward, and LED lights underneath, and a C-deck pad on the back to keep your reels from being beat up on the whole side. As we work our way back, we've got a mid storage locker. This side has hooks in it for dock lines. The other side is built for a trash bag. And then as we come back to the next locker, this side has your dive ladder, fire extinguisher storage, and a retractable raw water washdown hose. The other side holds another fire extinguisher and is just bulk storage. Uh, we'll come around back to the helm, we'll come back to the head. As you can see, this is a beautifully laid out helm. We've got triple flat panel displays, in this case we're Simrad with Suzuki 350s. And you can see we've got dual uh, chirp 1000 watt transducers, as well as our Suzuki instrumentation. And we can rapidly switch over to our POCO digital lighting controls. This is really neat. Any uh, zone within the boat, we can touch, turn it on, and hold it, change its color, just like that, or dim it, or send it into a color cycle. We can do that from any one of them, or we can just say, I want, I want the whole boat to be maximum white. Or, you know what, I want to run at night at 70% blue, and everything's preset, or red at 70%. Everything's all pre-built, one touch, ready to go on your lights. Digital switching is on a tile on the side. So you can see we can do nav lights, anchor light, all of our pumps. We actually have power antennas on this boat. So the, uh, the VHF antenna and the masthead light with one touch will fold down. Uh, we've got uh, all of our live well controls, our overboard discharges, uh, wipers and whatnot. And then some of those critical functions are repeated on this silicone keypad here. So you don't even need the screens. We can get to the horn, nav lights, bilge pump, windless controls, windshield vent, sure shade if it's got it, all from this silicone keypad, so no more mechanical switches. Uh, we've also got a wireless cell phone charger built into the dash up here. Uh, this is our windshield vent for letting air in. 
uh, more storage in the hard top. We've got our high water alarm right here. You can see VHF um, radios are standard equipment. Uh, and this one also has a full enclosure. So we can turn this into more of a pilot house style center console uh, with full enclosure. Um, all of our upholstery uh, you'll see here is material called sill leather. It's a, a variant of uh, high temp silicone. It has the hand of a really high end leather, but the durability of silicone. It won't take a stain. Um, and our beautiful logo, of course, the red, white, and blue fish that you'll see uh, 3D stitched into the upholstery and then on the hull sides as well. And very simple operation. Boat has one panel. That's it. Three, turn on your three battery switches and go boating. That's the only panel in the whole boat. It's all you need. And we've got gobs more storage. We've got glove boxes on either side. Um, we've got a thick helm pad. The uh, rectangles that you see in the helm pad are built in for risers. So if you want to do a six inch riser for the shorter drivers, those fit right into those grooves and elevates the driving position. We'll come back around to the head. And I'm gonna go ahead and climb in. You guys can get an idea just how big this is. I'm almost six feet tall and you can see how much headroom that I've got in here. Um, but we've got full Corian uh, countertops. We've got a retractable sink in here, um, macerating toilet. You can see we've got room for stand-up rods. The, the rod butts down on the floor even have a little bar to keep the rod from twisting. Um, more storage, if we remove these doors, they come completely off, and we have gobs and gobs of more bulk storage in there. Uh, on the aft side, similar situation, uh, but it's the forward bilge pump. Um, we'll take this rod out of the way. Show you the electronic loggers. So very easy to see how neat all the electronics are. All of our NEMA buses are here. All of our lighting fuses, our Lumatech system, our Optimus steering is here. Our NEMA networks, VHF, our radar box, etc., are there. And on the lower one, we have our digital switching panels. So there's our amplifiers and our digital switching units. If nice thing about these is if you ever have an issue with the system, you can simply pull the fuse, put it in the bypass position, and you're off and running. Um, but these are digitally programmed amps done by a computer factory tuned from JL and certified to their specs. So maximum audio in the boat. But very clean. Card reader for your Simrad down here as well. And let's see. And, oh. What we mentioned earlier, here's the storage for our cockpit table. Beautiful acrylic cockpit table with the uh, laser etch logo there, and the leg is stored right here on the wall. And something else that most people don't think of, whenever you get on a boat, everybody always has the bags and book bags and shoulder bags, things like that, and they always throw them in the bottom of the head where it's hard to get to. We actually thought to put hooks through bolted into here so you could hang all of your bags and things like that and not clog up the floor, and you can see how strong these are. So we, we use this room, and now the floor stays clear. So this was the trash bag we were talking about, the trash holder. And then the other locker, this one's got more room in it. So fire extinguisher and more bulk storage. And then as we work aft, underneath something unique that we've done, you can see this slot right here. This is actually a gaff holder, so when you're Running, you'll put your gaff head into here. The hook will fall down where it's protected, and it's got its own bungee in the back to keep it supported. Once you get on site to fish, that can come out and go in the uh, kingfish holder, ready to go, plus your regular rod tubes. And we've also got another freshwater wash down port on this side as well. We've got dual in floor fish boxes that go all the way to the front of the leaning post. You can see how big those are. And then our rigging station. You can see here we've built the Corian counters here to support uh, Yeti tumblers because everybody gets on boat on board with the Yeti nowadays. We've got scabbard protector for knives on this side, pliers on this side, and hooks hold, holders on the front for hanging plugs when you're rigging underway. And for, for storing all that gear, we've got a fold down rigging station here, deep drawers, tackle boxes, and even a leader holder with a ceramic line cutter that won't rust. 
you even got a fiddle here, so you've got even more workspace. We've also got down here, we've got our removable cooler. So it's on a pull-out slide. This becomes an aft-facing seat with backrest. This seems to be the best seat in the house. Sit here and watch my lunch. And when I'm done with that, we can take the cooler out. And we have removable doors in there for access to our batteries as well as our battery switch panel. So everything is easy, easy service. And then this slides back in, fully supported on its Titan slide. Uh, rear aft seat folds up, and now you can see just how big this cockpit is. There's a lot of real estate to work on here. Down here, our finished bilge. Uh, you can see our stainless sea chest with external pumps. If you ever have a problem with the pump, you don't have to shut the system down. You can simply remove the pump core and plug in a new pump core and not interrupt anything else that's going on. Um, we use all Marlon Seacocks, no brass, no metallic below the water line because we don't want that turning green and corroding over time. Um, easy access to your uh, fuel water separators as well as the fish box macerators. Um, and you can see your 2000 watt chirp transducers right here in front, easy to get to. So everything in there is basically elbow deep, easy, easy service. As we move back, we've got more packet storage here. So we've got deep boxes. We've also got a pull out drawer with uh, configurable centers for weights, uh, big leads and things like that. So it's a heavy duty drawer for supporting those. And then here we have two different cutting boards that lock in. One says bait, and the other one says limes. So one's for fish and one's for food. <laughs> um, so we've got that covered. That fits into the sink just like this. So we can trade it out. There's our limes. Fold your faucet up, and this goes back in, and it's happy hour. Uh, as well back here, we've got our two split live wells. These are fully pressurized. When they uh, come up to full level, you can see the vents in the back actually create a nice cascading waterfall off the back corners, and they're automatic. As soon as you pull off, off plane, the water level will drop back to here and make it easier to get to baits. Once you get back on plane, it automatically fills and sends the excess pressure off the back. Um, beyond that, we've got our stainless uh, drain covers in the back that keep the big stuff from going down um, but when it's time to clean it you can hinge those up and get in there and clean out uh, what you need uh, we've got our dive door on the port side of the boat big latch uh, we set this up all of the dockside access is on the starboard side so fuel water waste is over there but if you need to dock port side too you still have level access to get into the boat so it's easy access no matter which side you need to pull the boat up to Hinges? Oh, your soft close hinges, right? Oh, yeah. Um, so all of our hinges are friction hinges as well. You can see it's holding its position. So we do that on console doors, transom door, live well lids. You can see how it holds its position. And then that goes down and makes the seal. Um, this one has Optimus. You can see the electric steering actuators on these Suzuki 350s. This boat's really neat. It will stay on plane at 12 mile an hour with the dual props from the 350s, which is great for the high-speed Wahoo trawlers out there. Um, the, the theory of operation is that you'll do most of your dry rigging on the rigging station here, and any of your wet bait cutting and whatnot would happen back here with this cutting board. And if you're cutting bait and things like that, you're done. Use your salt water wash out and blow all that off the back of the boat rather than in the cockpit. Keep it clean. And then when that's done, that folds away and you've got a fiberglass lid. Um, dive door on this side. See a big latch. Loading that in. We've got another fish box underneath here as well. Um, boat has a 300 gallon fuel capacity, uh, 30 gallon water, 15 gallons of waste. So tons and tons of range. Uh, on all that good stuff. Hard top, big hard top. We, we are big believers in lots and lots of shade. We are the only manufacturer in this segment to have a fully finished hard top edge like this. Most of them you're gonna see, all of them you're gonna see are be a cut edge on the bottom. But we actually take the time to finish ours. 
And you'll also notice this track here is designed to support your mooring cover or any other canvas options you might want. So that's actually built in, ready to go, whatever you choose to put on the boat. Uh, that's pretty exhaustive. Um, <laughs> there's a lot going on in our boat. We didn't even talk about resin infusion. All of our boats are resin infused, which means we don't have guys handling boats and resin in the air and top and all that kind of stuff. They can literally go in there in a suit and tie, lay the glass down dry, lay the core down dry, they bag it, put it under a full atmosphere of vacuum, and then they pull the resin through. So we don't have, uh, we have a consistent build every time. We know exactly how much glass is in it, we know exactly how much resin is in it, we know exactly how long it's going to take to cure, we know how much it's going to weigh. Um, this boat with engines is 10,000 pounds every time. That's how consistent that process is. Uh, so it makes for a huge, huge difference in, in ride quality and fuel efficiency. Uh, most boats, 33 feet, are going to be 14, 12 to 14,000 pounds. This boat at 10,000 pounds beats them by a ton or two. So you can tell right off the bat how much of a difference that's going to make when it comes to fuel burn. Uh, so come check us out. We're here at the Annapolis Show. Uh, we're on Dock Street. Uh, we'd love to see you, and we'll tell you more about our beautiful place here at the show. Come see Maryland Boat Sales, and I'll be happy to take you for a tour.